Hey guys and welcome to another video. So for this one we're going to be talking about wipe and how to prep as also what you're going to be doing after wipe. So in a recent interview with Pesely and Nikita, Pesely asked Nikita, so just to confirm because chat is going to kill me if I don't, wipe is about a month away. Nikita was like, no, 12.6 is actually kind of ready to go, they're just in the testing phase. So Nikita also said that wipe is definitely going to be less than a month away. Now of course some things can happen and wipe can be later, but at the current point in time a lot of us are thinking that it's going to be around about one, two, three weeks away. So the way that you can usually tell that wipe is here is there is a pre-wipe event, which usually lasts one week until the wipe actually hits. So before it's been where everything's really cheap, all the scavs are raiders and so on and so forth. Nikita did make a joke that he was going to make all the scavs turn into killer. Now that would actually be very interesting and scary at the same time to see. So let's get into this. So in my opinion, some of the best ways that you can actually do to prepare yourself for the wipe is in fact wipe your account. Because if you can kill geared people with having no stats, so when you wipe your own account, you will reset your strength, endurance, your, all of your skills will be set back to zero, you are a total fresh account. So if you can wipe those chads and thick boys that are running around customs at the moment, or shoreline, or interchange, with a bog standard SKS, or an AKM that's got PS bullets in it, or something like that, right? you're definitely going to be ready for when wipe hits when they are now just normie people and used to having meta weapons where you're already, you know, ready for the the lower skill guns with like the standard SKS. To be honest with you, when wipe hits, grab yourself the SKS, the one that you get from Prepper at tier 1, as well as the PS bullets, that's definitely going to be one of the best things that you can do from there. Also, with wiping the account, you're also going to relearn the tasks, where to get items, and that it's going to be fresh in your mind as well, for when wipe hits, so you can get ahead of everyone else who's stuck there still trying to get Salaras, whilst you're there trying to get Morphine. One of the best things as well, resetting your account, is you kind of want to relearn the maps from the rat perspective. So where all the little bits of loot is, like how you position yourself in the map, how you move around the map, than you would do normally if you're a thick boy or a chad because when when i'm a thick boy i just run straight down the middle and just not give a crap someone shoots at me i kill them keep moving on when you're a rat and you literally have you know antar armor or packer armor from ragman tier one you kind of need to be very careful with the way that you move around the map where you show your positions and so on and so forth a lot of things which have been discussing in our stream recently is kind of what path you want to you want to take so obviously the flea market is going to be locked until level 10. Now you've got one or two things you can do. You can obviously get to level 10 and then you can either decide to upgrade your hideout or because it's a pre-wipe and you want to make some money, bolts, screws, freaking nuts, everything like that is going to be worth an absolute bomb at the start of wipe. So what are you going to do? Upgrade your hideout or go make some huge early game cash that will easily carry you through to, you know, mid game or as soon as people start leveling up. You kind of need to try and figure out what you want to do just so that you can prepare yourself and get everything ready. One of the best maps that I would recommend that you do is if you are new to the game, learn interchange because interchange is very good for getting your hideout items and if you don't want to keep running interchange as a PMC, run it as a scav and, you know, learn interchange. Currently on interchange for some reason, I always get like 10 minutes left into the raid, so it's quite hard to actually learn. But for when wipe hit, I would always recommend that you do your task on your PMC and the moment your scav comes available, then go hit up interchange, you know, get those gas analyzers, those bolts and the propane, the fuel and everything from the ollie and the back of idea. So realistically, learning the maps again is definitely great. Same with Customs of Shoreline, learn those maps as well because most of your tasks are on Customs and Shoreline as well as Interchange because of Ragman when you hit level 15. But most of your tasks are actually on Customs and Shoreline early game. So you kind of want to give that a go. These are just a few little tips that I want to give you for when, well, when wipe hits. Get yourself prepared 
so you're ahead of the curve as there is a huge amount of new players so if you can get yourself ahead of the curve then you can have a one up on them Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. Don't forget to check out the links in the description as well to our spreadsheet that we're currently building for every single one of our keys, extract tasks and gun build videos. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.